What the fuck is up, everybody? This is your motherfucking St. Crazy Brain back in uh, the video. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be doing a tutorial video on how to install fabric onto your Minecraft launcher. So, yeah, as you guys can see, I got no face cam, so um, that way you guys can actually pay attention and follow me step by step thoroughly. Because if you do not follow me step by step thoroughly on here, then you will not be able to install this and you will get super frustrated. I know because it's happened to me before where I've skipped around and, uh, you know, so yeah, don't skip around on this video um, because, yeah, this is a tutorial video and it's meant to be watched in its entirety. So, yeah, don't skip forward or anything because that's just going to leave some shit out and then you guys are going to be super pissed about it. So, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I got fabric up here. So, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to this website here. It's called uh, fabricmc.net. You you type that in, or you just go on Google and you type in fabric, um, and it will and it will pop up. Um, if you type a fabric download, uh, it should it should just pop up. So, yeah, uh, there we go. Download. Okay, there. We go. Okay, there. We go. Nice. Okay, so yeah. You type in fabric download and then it will it will bring you to this website here, um, which is the website that I'm on right now. Um, so yeah, I go here and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and uh, you're going to want to hit download. So you go to download and then you download for Windows. So you download it for Windows and then you got the fabric installer right here and then you're going to want to click on that little guy right there. And then it's going to pop up and uh, it's going to be like this there we go fabric installer so you can choose to do a server or a client doesn't really matter whichever one you want to do um if you want to do it and then also for the ver different version you want so say you want to have it for like uh 1.14 or something you can do 1.14 you can do 1.15 any version of fabric can be installed from 1.14 all the way up to the newest version which is 1.20.1 so just keep that in mind too. Keep that in mind too. And some mods require the newer version of Fabric. So you're going to want to have and make sure that you always have the latest version of it, the latest update of it. So yeah, if you if your versions fall behind, you are going to want to update it. So I'm telling you guys right now because I've ran into problems with mods um, before too. So yeah, and, so, and sometimes you just got to keep them updated so yeah you got to keep the the mod loader updated you got to keep the mods all updated so as long as you can do that you'll be fine on this so let's do this okay so you hit create profile and then you hit install and then it's going to download all the files it's going to download all of them and then it's going to come up and say fabric loader for 1.20.1 has been successfully installed many mods also require you to put the fabric api into the mods folder so you're going to want to download a thing called fabric api so yeah, in order to download Fabric API, you're going to want to go to the Curse Forge thing, and you're going to and you're going to want to download this. So, yeah, and this is like the base for the mod, um, for the mod loader. So you're going to want to download this. So, yeah, you just hit download, and then you will uh, be yeah, you'll get this, and then you're going to want to copy that into your mods folder. So you're going to do a uh, show in folder, and then you're going to want to grab this guy, copy, and then we're going to do. Uh, slash or you know percent app data and then percent and then we are going to go like that and then navigate to your dot minecraft directory and then you're going to go to, you're going to want to go to mods um or minecraft launcher or hold on let's see uh yeah you're going to want to create a new folder on here called mods um so you're going to go like that mods there we go and then you're going to want to paste that there and now that we've pasted it there let's go ahead and go to the actual minecraft uh the minecraft launcher so yeah and then you hit okay and then yeah and i think it's gonna hit did i install it already i think i did yeah i already installed it yeah so you can exit out of there all right so yeah now you're gonna want to grab and uh you're gonna want to go into your minecraft launcher now i might have to update this because i usually don't keep my minecraft updated all the time so it is what it is, but yeah, because I really don't use the, the regular Minecraft launcher, but for this tutorial video, I, I am going to be using it. That way I can show you guys how to install it directly to your client without any, you know, um, without any filler or anything. I'm just getting straight to the basics on how to install this, um, how to install 
uh, fabric on here. So then you have the fabric loader here. So as you can see, you got fabric there. You also got forge here. Um, so yeah, fabric loader, you want to select that and then you're going to want to hit play, but also um, if and if you're, if you're going to be playing with mods, you should do this too um, as a precaution. So usually it'll set it to like two gigs. I'm going to set it to like eight gigs because usually Minecraft requires like eight gigs to run uh, proper and smooth depending on how you play. And the way I play, I like to have eight gigs at least. So yeah, let's do that. So yeah, and then, then you're going to want to hit play on here and then you're going to want to, this little dialogue will probably pop up and then you hit play. And then it will install itself and then it will load so yeah this won't take very long um, but yeah it's gonna be it's prepping it right now um, so yeah and then what we're gonna do is we're going to basically start it up get it all get all the files downloaded then I'm gonna exit out of the game and I'm going to install a mod, just like a random mod. I'm going to pick a random mod off of Curse Forge, and I'm going to show you guys also how to install uh, the 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 uh, mods for uh, this as well. Because yeah, I know there's going to be a lot of people being like, "How do you how do you install mods on on on, on Fabric?" And I'll be like, "Yeah, this is how you do it." <laughs> um, so yeah, now I'm just waiting for it. It'll pop up just like this. Um. Yeah, so there we go. Nice. So yeah, look at that. See? See, look. 1.20.1 fabric modded. So yeah, you got fabric up here now. So yeah, and you got the different mods on here. So yeah, and then and so yeah, let's go ahead and add a mod to it. So let's go ahead and go to Curse Forge. Um, so we're gonna go to Curse Forge, Legacy.curseforge. I usually do the legacy website because I don't really like the way they have the new website all designed. Um I'm not really a big fan of it, but yeah, so we're going to go to Minecraft and we are going to go to mods. We're going to look up uh, fabric. So we're going to do fabric and I think that will show it up. Okay, and we're going to add in just enough items. We're going to do just enough items because it's the most basic one that I, that I can think of. Um, so yeah, we're going to do, uh, yeah, we're going to do JEI um, and let's do this. Okay, so files, let's see, is it for fabric let's see okay yeah 1.20.1 .1 fabric let's get that so yeah you're gonna want to download your mod just like this uh, it doesn't really matter which mod it is I'm just using JEI as a as like a like a template so um, yeah we're gonna do show we're gonna show in folder we're gonna go ahead and copy this guy to our app data so we're gonna go percent um, app data and percent there we go and then you go to your dot minecraft folder and then you go to your mods folder and then you just drop that guy in there and then there we go so now you have that in there and then um let's go ahead and restart our client up and then we should be able to do this now so yeah we should be able to have that jai on there when we when we start up in a brand new world so we're gonna go ahead and and uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and create a new world and we're gonna see if this actually works so yeah and this is how uh, you install fabric mods on here now fabric mods are basically the same concept as the forge mods but fabric I think runs a little bit smoother um, just from the couple experiences I've had with it um, and yeah I think fabric is actually gonna be taken over um, going forwards as like the newer modding mechanism for minecraft so yeah we're gonna create a brand new world in here we're just gonna do we're just gonna create a dummy world so we're just gonna go on uh, create a mode just just, just to create a dummy world for this uh, demonstration um, so I can show you guys everything so let's do this <laughs> um, but yeah it's pretty simple to install this it's pretty simple to install this as long as you guys have followed my video to the to the very fucking point of it um, you should you should be able you shouldn't have any problems with it um, but yeah, and so yeah, look at that. See, look, JI is right there. It's already up there. Um, so yeah, it's literally right there. You can look up any recipes you want to. Um, you can look like you know, you can look up recipes for like uh, this. So yeah, so it's all there. It's all there. It's all there. It's good. It's good to go. So yeah, our client has been installed for uh, Forge or not Forge, but Fabric. Um, and uh, yeah, that's basically how you install Fabric, ladies and gentlemen. So. Yeah, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all enjoyed this little tutorial video on how to install Fabric. And also, I'm going to link down below the website to Fabric. And also, um, 
yeah, I'm also going to link down Curse Forge because that's where you'll find a majority of the mods. But there's also another site. It's called, I think it's called like Modrith or something. Uh, but it's a recently new website that also has mods on here for uh, fabric and everything. So you can also check that website out. I'm going to leave a link to both of them um, in the description below. So if you guys want to check those out, um, be sure to do so. And uh, yeah. I hope, you, I hope this video helped out. I hope this video helped out everyone that's trying to install Fabric. Um, and uh, yeah, if you guys got any other questions about Fabric, um, definitely let me know because I've been I've been running Fabric for a little bit. I've been I've been kind of messing around with it because I, I saw it. I've been seeing it pop up a lot lately. I just never really dove into it. But um, yeah, now that I now that I've actually done a mod review on one of the Fabric mods, I think I recently did one. Um, it's opened my eyes up to a brand new mod loader. So, yeah, this this mod loader is actually pretty pretty cool. Um, yeah, and I mean Forge is Forge, but yeah, Fabric is a lot smoother. Like it runs a lot of things smoother, and I think that's what it's mainly used for. It's mainly used for running mods a lot smoother in a different mod different type of mod loader. Um, but it's very very cool. So, yeah, anyway, hope you all enjoyed this tutorial video, and I'll see you guys on the next tutorial video. Peace out, everybody. And, uh, yeah, as you're seeing crazy sign now, let's try to get to that one face subscribers by the end of July. I know we can do it. We just got to keep it doing videos like I've been doing on here. And, uh, yeah, anyway, hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace out, everybody.